Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Ahmed Khan here. In today's video, I am going to be attempting Richard Hughes 3.35 a.m. morning routine. I know it's going to suck because I'm going to be waking up at 3.35 a.m. and taking a cold shower right after that, but let's do it. But before we jump into the first day, let me show you exactly what actually the morning routine is. So I'm going to be waking up at 3.35 a.m. and right after I wake up, I'm going to be taking a cold shower, which is going to be probably the hardest part of this challenge. And right after I take my cold shower, I'm going to be journaling and praying for probably 20 minutes. And then I'm going to jump into my first real pure focus deep work session, which is going to be two hours long. And after that deep work session, I'm going to be having my breakfast, I'm going to be uh, jumping into another one hour long um, pure focus deep work session. So this is going to be probably the morning, uh, not probably, this is going to be the morning routine that I'm going to be following in the next seven days. And moment of honesty, I have never woken up at 3.35 a.m. to do something productive. Maybe it is just for accident, maybe I had to be or something like that but I have never woken up at 3.35 a.m. and taken a cold shower right after that. So it is probably going to suck, but I really want to see how productive I'm going to get. And for a person who is watching this video who has never woken up at 3.35 a.m., you know, you can see me suffer for a few minutes. I mean, it's gonna be probably worth it because it's going to suck. It's going to suck. But one thing I want to add is basically how you do one thing is how you absolutely do everything. So let's get it done. Day one, three, I don't know if you can see it, but three, four to five a.m. I just woke up. This is not going to be enjoyable. Cold showers, day one, let's do this. So when you are waking up that early at 3.35 a.m., you have to have your seven to eight hours of sleep in the night unless you're not gonna be able to function very well in the morning. So every single day, every single night, or you can call it evening or afternoon, I gotta go to bed at, at around 7.30 p.m. I'm not really sure about that right now, but today it's a little late. Today it's 8 p.m. already, so I gotta go to bed right now in order to wake up at 3.35 a.m morning routine is actually pretty easy except the fact that I have to take a cold shower if I had didn't have to take a cold shower the morning routine would be pretty pretty enjoyable because when you get that three hours of deep work done you just feel amazing so gotta go to sleep to wake up at 3 35 a.m. tomorrow and I will see you day 2 3 39 a.m. feeling good let's get it done cold shower is gonna be very bad Let's get it done. Don't forget your morning hydration. First thing in the morning. Cold showers. Day two. Day two. I feel bad. I just want to interrupt this video for one minute and tell you quickly about one thing I learned until the third day, and it is basically whenever you are doing something hard, whenever you're gonna take a cold shower, whenever you're, you're gonna wake up at 3.35 a.m., whenever you are going to be, for example, talking to that stranger guy or girl, I don't know, whatever you do. So whenever, before you do something really hard, there is this flinch. There's this, like, you just wait there and think about that thing. For example, when your alarm goes off, you are there and you're basically thinking about all the excuses that you can make in order for you not to actually wake up and do something productive. Right before you, for example, take that cold shower, you feel like, yes, if I actually wash my face and wash my hands, like I think it's going to be probably enough, so let's just don't take the cold shower today. Whenever you are feeling like that, what you should do is you should actually just, just do the thing. Whenever you are waiting, whenever you are giving more time to your brain for it to come up with more excuses about why you should actually not do that important thing in your life, it is going to be a lot harder for you to actually do the thing. Because to be honest, our brains are the best salesmen in the world when it comes to producing, like making excuses and actually not doing something productive in our lives. So what I'm trying to say is just do the thing. Don't think about it. What, like when your alarm goes off, don't think about why you should why you should wake up, what you should do right after you wake up. Just 
jump out of your bed and wake up. That is what actually you should do. So that is what I have done until that point and actually it worked very, very well. So lesson number one. Officially last day of the challenge and with the challenge I'm also pretty much done. It is 3.42 a.m. last day. I'm very very happy that this last day. So how you do one thing is how you do absolutely everything man. Let's get it done. The hardest part of the hardest challenge that I've ever done in my life. Day 7. I'm done. Let's get this done. How you do one thing is how you absolutely do everything. I will see you after this cold shower and we're gonna jump into the work. So my final thoughts on this challenge. I personally have um, done a few challenges in my life in my last two years of my life I tried a couple of things and this is absolutely the hardest one This was absolutely the hardest challenge that I have done ever in my life So um, a moment of a moment of honesty I am not gonna be waking up at 3 35 a.m. From now because it is just too hard I don't think I'm going to be able to do this without getting burnt out for weeks for months I don't think it's going to be happening but I still am going to be waking up at 5 a.m. every single day and taking my cold shower and getting my hyper focused work done but I don't think 3 35 a.m. is just doable for me and I don't think it's not actually doable for a lot of people in the world as well I personally enjoyed it a lot like this challenge was pretty enjoyable except the part where I had to take cold showers it was just not really enjoyable and when you wake up like the first 15 minutes of I wake up I drink some water and then I take my cold shower like that 15 minutes is basically just hell but right after that the heaven part actually starts so um, to anyone who is watching this video who has never woken up at 5 a.m. or so just try that for one day and see how productive actually you are going to be and then make your decision right after that and so um, thank you so much for watching this video I really really appreciate your support and I personally decided that I'm going to be making a lot of challenge videos on this channel I'm going to be trying out a lot of hard different things so comment down below which challenge should I do next I'm going to pick the challenge who has uh, I'm going to pick the comment actually who has the most likes and if you want to see more personal development content weekly or more challenges like this where I probably am going to be suffering a lot so subscribe to my channel of course you can unsubscribe whenever you want and somehow if Richard is going to be watching this video thank you so much for the inspiration Richard I really really look up to you keep doing what you do thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video